dozens of rockets being fired from Gaza today, bombarding southern Israeli towns. Ashdod, Israel, is just one city that has been hit by these attacks. That is where Leland Vitter joins us live. Martha, so far the Iron Dome missile defense system behind me has intercepted 80 rockets coming out of Gaza. And the Iron Dome is the only thing protecting about a million Israeli citizens who live in the line of fire. We've got more missiles coming in. You can see everyone running. This is right now the very safest place. We're going to come in under here, and now we wait. Those awful seconds that everyone in this part of the world knows what it's like to wait. As the missile's coming in, you know it's here. The question is, where will it hit? And there it was, the explosion very nearby. What you don't know is whether that was the Iron Dome exploding, intercepting the missile, or whether that was another hit somewhere around this very densely populated residential area. And there you go. That's the Iron Dome. You've got an explosion up in the air. Take you straight to Tel Aviv, um, Jerusalem, in fact, and uh, Sam Cowley standing by. Uh, Sam, we're just hearing uh, that Islamic Jihad are claiming responsibility for this rocket attack, the first reported rocket attack on uh, Tel Aviv since the 1991 Gulf War. Yes, uh, a big quote-unquote success for Islamic Jihad. Earlier on today, uh, the Hamas authorities said that they, uh, uh, or that its allies were going to launch just such an attack, and they seem to have been able to penetrate Israel's anti-missile missile batteries to hit in the Gush Dan area. That is very close, effectively part of Greater Tel Aviv. Uh, this will be extremely troubling to Benjamin Netanyahu, who, who has launched these airstrikes and this campaign to decapitate Hamas in order to draw the teeth of the whole Hamas structures. And in fact, so far, all that has happened is that it has provoked this enormous counterattack of uh, missiles now reaching Israel's greatest concentration of population. Okay. את הצינור הארוך ביותר נראה בסביבות השישה מטרים. 